Okay, hi everybody, Julie the Therapist. And our final video is about actually the work, how to do the highlighting. So before we jump into where I'm actually gonna paint it on my hair, I wanna give you a couple practice runs on your hair. When you take the foil, the whole point is we're painting hair and the foil is isolating it. So a lot of times we get too involved with where to place the foils and all that. I want you to think about, I just want you to figure out how to paint your hair so that it matches. So if you've got streaks here and here or back here, get in there and find that sh streak. And that's where I want you to practice or not practice. That's where I want you to focus your foil is in that area. If you're the donut person where this is all white, then that means the foils are gonna be all right here. Because once you get that area, this literally, this chunk of hair highlighted, it's gonna sit over the rest of your hair. You're not gonna see your outgrowth, which is the whole point of what we're trying to do is match the outgrowth to down here. When you highlight, you're either gonna come in this way. If you're the donut person, you'll probably come in this way. You're gonna take a nice thin slice, not too thick. Take the foil, put your comb on it. It doesn't matter if you put it here and then let the hair flop this way. I like to do it on the other side. Then I just tuck the, see that foil? I just tuck it in there, pull the hair down. And once it's nice and tight, then you pull this out and you can paint. Or maybe you're gonna be going the other way. Maybe your streaks are more this way. So then you would come in and you would go across this way. And you would pick up your hair, take that foil, right like that, stick it under here, pull down, pull out. Now when it's right in front of you, it's hard to see. Here's a little trick. <laughs> Move the foil out of the way and look, now I can see. I can paint, get it adhered. Once it adheres, then I can pull it away from my face to be able to see. So you're either gonna be going horizontally or vertically. And also, if you are somebody like me, where you come in and you're like, oh, I don't wanna touch this dark hair, I only wanna do the white, you can, believe it or not, you can pick out your white versus dark just by doing that, boom, let that go. And now I mostly have white hair. So when you're doing your highlight and you come into some dark hairs, don't be afraid to pull them out. You know, because we don't want those hairs highlighted. We just want the light hair highlighted. So whether it's horizontal or vertical, that's how you're gonna place the foils. All right, here we go. The first thing to decide is where do you wanna put those highlights? When I did mine, you can clearly see I have these two white streaks right here. And no, I don't put any color here. It's just how it is. I, but, when you look back here, you could see this is so silvery and sparkly. I didn't put any highlights back there. So trust me when I tell you, you just need to hit the target areas. The rest will not matter. My old color was very warm in color because it was artificial brown. Artificial brown is always going to come out very like a red brown unless you're putting black on the hair. Even though this was all a reddish brown, and I highlighted these two pieces and then toned them silver, which is a complete opposite color of red, it still looked okay. So trust me when I tell you it's a transition, it's not perfect, but it helped. It got me through a bad place. I, nobody ever knew I was ever growing out my hair. Just have to hit the right areas and you'll be good. All right, I put some blue uh, direct dye I made up flour. I'm not highlighting my hair with bleach. If I put bleach on my hair, it's going to bleach on my hair and I don't want to put bleach on my hair. So I mixed up flour and then I put blue direct dye in there so you could see it when I put it on. Let's say I'm going to show you two different ones. 
One, I'm going to show you this piece right here, and then I'm going to show you this piece right here to sh for the people who are doing the donut, the back-to-back, because -back. it all goes together. Remember when you're highlighting your hair that you need to do what you can do, what you can see. If I come in here really tight, I'm going to pick up this hair right here. You can see this obvious dark piece right here, right? Get rid of that. Don't put that in your highlight because that's dark hair. You don't want it highlighted. Now, if you accidentally get a few hairs in there, don't worry about it. I'm just pulling out the obvious stuff so that I can generally just be white, highlighting my white hair. It's a little bit harder for me because I'm using the camera for a mirror. It's not the best, not the worst. Okay. I got myself a nice thin piece of white hair. Take your foil. Take your comb, see that? I'm gonna bring it up a little bit more right there. When I put this foil underneath my hair and pull down, don't let go of the um, comb until you've pulled down. Now watch what happens, secure. Now you're gonna take your bleach and remember, you're going to paint from the line of demarcation. So I'm going to pretend like, you know, that's my outgrowth. Now look what happens. One paint and it's adhered there. So, but I want you to paint down the whole shaft. I want you to make sure that you get the whole shaft. And if you paint back and forth, back and forth. And here's another one. I want you to make sure you see saturate that hair make sure it has bleach on all of the hair back and forth and also see how i can see through no thicker than that in the foil if you have more hair than that in the foil you're not going to be able to saturate the hair it's not going to lighten evenly once you get that on you take another foil stick them on there paste them together now, you can do a little bit of fold just to get it out of your way, like this though, lengthwise, so I'm not messing up my lightning, okay? Now, get it out of the way, boom. Grab yourself another piece. If you're all white, you need to go back to back, just like this, put another piece in, boom. Another one, another one, another one. Let's say you want to go back over to here. Put this down. Okay? And remember, don't be afraid to have a couple clips. Keep stuff out of the way. Okay, now I want that out of the way. So I can come in here and just do these pieces. And see how thin that is? That's what you need. Nice thin partings to put that foil in there and then paint. Let's say you're the donut person and you're trying to come here. I want you to do the same thing, but I want you to go right off that part. Got my clip in my hair <laughs> and it's messing things up. Let me get that hair out of the way. Boom. All right, let's try that again. So let's say this is me. See if I come in here and I grab these pieces right here. Pull it out. You can adjust it. See how when I pulled it out, I accidentally pulled it off. Paint, paint. You only need to paint a little bit to get it to adhere. Okay? And then you can let go and lift it up like a board and paint on it. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Make sure you get it completely saturated all the way down.
one more thing with the painting. Sometimes you have different levels of color. This is light, this is dark, and this is super dark. Wherever it's super dark, I want you to put a lot of the bleach. Make sure that it's a good coating. But up here, if you really are not that dark, put a lighter coating of bleach. Less for lighter, more for darker. Now, if you were doing a strand test, don't do a strand test off right the front. Do your strand test underneath here where it's hidden. And make sure when you do your strand test, you give yourself a nice chunk, saturate it really well, put the foil in just like I did, then you can sit and wait. Check it, if you are the light haired person, check it after a half hour. If you're the dark haired person, check it after an hour hour and a half, two hours. Once you see that it can lighten to where you want it, you're golden. Wash it out. Maybe the next day you're gonna start the highlight all over it. But remember, you're doing this at home. You don't have to do everything at one time. So even when you're like watching me right now, like, oh gosh, Julie, that looks like a lot of work. Do five. Just, this took me, you know, five minutes to do two of them. Do five or 10 packets. But make sure when you're doing those packets, they're gonna be the ones that you could see, it's gonna matter. Look at how my hair comes right off of here. It's the number one mistake that people make, whether they go to the stylist or they highlight their hair themselves. If it's not coming off the front, you're not gonna see brightness. Almost everybody that has a lot of silver, they have it right around the face somewhere, somehow, because the Almighty just knows that Brightness looks good around our face. When we do the ombre highlight, the number one thing, the ombre highlight is where it's dark here and then very light on the ends. We always do the money piece in the front because even though the clients don't want that highlight popping off their scalp, they want to see brightness around the face because it looks good on everybody. So the same for you silver heads when you're transitioning. Make sure that you're planting that highlight up in front so you could see it. Most of you probably have it here naturally anyway. But if you don't, remember that might be a great way for you to take care of your silver hair. If you're one of those people who don't have a lot, you could just do a money piece highlight once or twice a year. All right, this is how you highlight your hair yourself to transition into your silver, either with the money piece or just the donut. And remember, if you're doing it yourself, you don't have to do it all at once. This is the color that you're looking for in order to the hair light enough to receive a silver toner. You need it to be a very light yellow. This is what it looks like on short hair. This is an all over color. Of course, you're doing highlights. It'll have a different look, but this is the color of yellow that you're looking for in order to take the hair light enough for a silver toner. Thanks again for watching Julie the Hair Girl.